and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that, and as always, I appreciate you. So, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and, and, and also check that bell notification so you'll get my videos as soon as they're uploaded. But what we have here says Alaska Records, one of the most extreme snowfall rates on record. Says an astonishing 10 inches of snow per hour was reported at Thompson Pass near Valdez, Alaska, on Wednesday, December 6, 2017. Says this is an extraordinary, even by Valdez standards, the snowiest town in the United States. What hit Alaska's North Gulf Coast this week, producing one of the most extreme snowfall rates on record, is what meteorologists like to call a snow AR, or an atmospheric river that is producing snow instead of rain. On Wednesday, December 6, this storm dropped 5 inches of, sn of snow at Thompson Pass in 30 minutes, 10 inches in 60 minutes, and 15 inches within 90 minutes. It also goes on to say that within 72 hours from December 3rd to the 6th, the National Resource Conservation Service um, site at Nix Valley, um, about 4,200 feet, picked up 83 inches of snow, making a total of 126 inches. That is just insane. Um, let's see here. It goes on to say that according to the quick analysis by the Weather Underground's weather historian Christopher Burt, Thompson Pass storm ranks among the most intense snowfalls we know of, Burton told John Hopewell of the Capitol Weather Gang, on that on December 2nd, 1966, 12 inches fell in 60 minutes in Copenhagen, Copenhagen, New York. And on January 26, 1972, Oswego, New York, recorded 17 and a half inches in a two-hour period. Both of these records were the result of lake effect snow. It says that this week's atmospheric river over Alaska was aided by the North American winter uh, um, Dipole explains Capital Weather Gang's Jason uh, Sam now. This is a fancy term to describe abnormally warm conditions in the west and cold conditions in the east. Under such a pattern, the jet stream, the superhighway for storms that divides cold and warm air, surges north in the western half of the nation and crashes south in the eastern half, Sam now said. This excessive snow caused 20-foot and 200-foot avalanche on a part of Richardson Highway near Valdez, closing the road between uh, mile post 12 and 42.2. So they had a 200-foot avalanche and a 20-foot long avalanche that was also associated with all the snow here. And you can just see right here is a picture of the Richardson Highway um, avalanche. So this is partially why most of this is covered due to this avalanche. Now, says Meadow Bailey, a spokesperson for the Alaskan Department of Transportation, said their crews haven't been able to enter the zones within the road closure due to safety issues posed by the avalanche. It says that um, it is not safe to have crews enter the avalanche zone, not until the conditions improve. We're looking for snow to stop, for visibility to increase, and hopefully daylight will help. But it may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow, Bailey said. So... There you have it. I just thought this was an interesting article to share with you. You know, um, it just and here it says what is hitting the North Gulf Coast is what we like to call a snow AR. What they were just talking about it says over the last three days, nearly six feet of snow has been recorded at Thompson Pass. Keep that up. Three days, six feet of snow in just three days, ten inches per hour on average. Just insane. Um, just insane. So. Again, thanks for watching these videos and supporting the channel. We're growing every single day because of you, and I can't appreciate you guys enough for that. Um, but other than that, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.